the Philippines is going to choose its new president on May 9, that is tomorrow. Going by poll predictions, a pro-China leader, Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., seems likely to be elected. But guess what? There could be a twist in the tale. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Vedika. Let's begin. When the Philippines goes to the polls on Monday, it will have to choose between two clearly divergent paths, pro-China Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. or an independent Lenny Robredo, who is presently serving as the country's vice president. And it seems that there could be some last-minute drama before the picture becomes completely clear. Bong Bong, the son of former dictator Ferdinand Marcos, has emerged as the favourite to win tomorrow's election. Ferdinand Marcos represents a dark era of human rights violations and repression in the Philippines from 1965 to 1986. Yet, three and a half decades after his father's ouster from power, Bong Bong is rewriting his country's history. Ferdinand is being projected as a war hero who took the Philippine military to new heights instead of being called out as a dictator and his powerful messaging seems to be helping him amplify his narrative. Meanwhile, Bong Bong also has incumbent President Rodrigo Duterte's implicit support. Rodrigo's daughter Sara Duterte Carpio is Bong Bong's running mate. Opinion polls put Bong Bong far ahead of his main rival Robredo. He is preferred by 56% of the voters as against only 23% of voters who back Robredo. Yet, people in the Philippines could change their minds at the last moment. As per an SCMP report, business owners and investors in the Philippines believe that Vice President Lenny Robredo may be better suited to handle the country's economy. They don't really trust Bong Bong to take the Philippine economy forward. The business community is therefore trying to find a way out of the country. An anonymous multinational executive told SCMP, depending on the results of this election, we may all migrate to either Australia or New Zealand. Rafael APA Ong Pen, a Philippine businessman too, spoke about the plans of multinational executives to move out of the country. Ong Pen said they are literally looking all over the place, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. They are saying if Marcos wins, this country isn't worth it. I'm leaving. Ong Pen also said that industrialists and franchisees too remain dreadful about the idea of a Bongbong administration coming to power. The business community in the Philippines seems to have remembered what Bong Bong's father had done to the economy. The Marcos family had used the Philippine economy for self-enrichment. The family is believed to have looted $10 billion of public money in 1998. Imelda Marcos, the wife of a dictator Ferdinand Marcos, had claimed that the Marcoses practically owned everything in the Philippines from electricity, telecommunications, airline, banking, beer and tobacco, newspaper publishing, television stations, shipping, oil and mining, hotels and beach resorts, down to coconut milling, small farms, real estate and insurance. Today, Philippine businesses seem to be worried that Bong Bong too will sell off the country to the Chinese in order to enrich himself at the expense of his country's businessmen and industrialists. They feel that a pro-China leader will jeopardize the country's business environment and push it towards a tragedy just like Duterte. On the other hand, Robredo is a credible face. She has no vested interests and unlike Bong Bong, she is a trained economist. Nicholas Mapa, an economic expert, said, based on Bloomberg surveys, the investors and analysts appear to favor the candidacy of Robredo, a trained economist. Mapa added, Robredo is an economist by training, holding a degree from the University of the Philippines with a track record of honesty, as evidenced by outstanding COA ratings for the past two years. Robredo is therefore being endorsed by the business community for the top post. This is one final warning to Philippine voters. Choose your next leaders wisely for the sake of your own future. And who knows if this turns the poll results in Robredo's favour.